This tutorial covers placing default RPC content. The default project template in Revit 2009 has some preloaded RPC objects. To make things a bit more interesting, I have imported one of the tutorial files, i underscore curtainwall.rvt, along with a DWG file for the site, which has been converted to a terrain object. This gives us the ability to see how our RPCs perform on a non-uniform surface. Now you can place RPC content in a plan view, but we will be using a 3D view to better illustrate the process. Now from the design bar, we can click on the component tool and choose an RPC content available from the type selector. There are numerous options to choose from. From one of the RPC trees, we'll go ahead and uh, choose an RPC tree. And notice as I, I move my cursor around the terrain, the RPC content respects the surface elevation allowing me to easily place these RPC trees within the context of the project. We'll place a few more trees around the site. Now as with any Revit component, you can go back to the type selector and choose a different object while still in the command. This example has preloaded content, but if you have a project that did not start with RPCs already loaded, the next lesson will show you where to find additional RPCs. and load some of this content.